It's 373 miles to Grand Marais. We have a full tank of gas, a half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark out, and we have sunglasses on. Let's hit it. Well, we finally made it. We made it to the actual trailhead to get to the 270 Overlook or the Northern Terminus. We're at, I believe it's the trailhead to the Border Route Trail, which is right behind me. But we got a one mile walk down that trail and back. And then we gotta go back down that little gravel road a little ways and around the corner. Uh, we just got done with a shuttle ride for the infamous Harriet Quarles. It was a cool, adventurous ride. Yes, we are out in the sticks, folks. Uh, so this is going to be an epic adventure, and thanks for tagging along, and let's see what we can get ourselves into. Feels absolute great to be back on Spear Hiking Trail again. Miss the rocks, miss the roots. And I'm sure in about three days, I will be cussing these roots and these rocks. I about guarantee it. But you only live once, you just gotta get out and do it. Don't be afraid of everything in life. Or you're gonna miss it. But being around the northern parts, as for hiking trail, not as many people use these trails. So as you can see, it's a little overgrown, not terribly bad. It's doable for now. But I guess we shall see what we all come across. How did I know that we have to go all the way up? But then again, yes, it is called an overlook for a reason. But looks like the border route trail, the North Country Trail goes that way. That trail does not look like it's seen much maintenance. But let's go. We made it to the northern terminus of the Superior Hiking Trail. But 
the view is up here. Hello Canada. Be nice if you had a couple of ice cold Labatt blues here at the border. And it's a long ways down. Yay, that was fun. Now we get to go back that one mile back to our backpacks which we just at the trailhead not worried anybody's gonna steal them because I don't think many people come out here at all and if they do good luck they can carry them all they want but they're right next to the car if they did see them but not worried so we'll get our packs and get back out on the actual spirit hiking trail even though we're technically on it but then we'll actually be gaining positive miles. Now we're backtracking. So, see you in a bit. All right, that was a fun little hike. Well, now we gotta go to the actual trail. But, got pretty sweet little backwater. Ah, dang, no moose, no bear in this one. Nothing. But off and up the road we go. We gotta love the road walks. We're gonna go right past, I think it's the Andy Creek campground. And our destination is Jackson Creek. Alright, here's our first sign. Campsite's 1.77 miles. We are going to maybe take a breather. Andy Lake Road at 3.4. Jackson Lake Road, or Jackson Lake Campground at 6.5. That is our destination for tonight. After that, got a ways to go. Onward. Oh, here we go, folks. Name that scat. And no, it's not somebody didn't drop a bunch of nuts. Or chocolate covered nuts. We have moose poop the first official moose poop i've ever seen on the spear hiking trail which is actually pretty pretty cool because that just means at one time there was a moose here and we may or may not even see him or her but that's what the trail is like going in amongst a bunch of grass and stuff you get some brush stuff that's been pretty tight but yeah, you come out to all these little openings and stuff, and it's just crazy. Fairly decent on the markings of blue blazes, but so far we haven't felt like we're going to get off trail at all yet. Keyword, yet. And up, yep, there's another blue blaze. Don't know what these little flowers are, they're pretty cool. Holy hell, that was one hell of a climb. I think we just crossed Handy Creek Road. That was an ass carrier climb, especially when it's very calm, no wind. And the floor is, the floor is pretty tight. The crazy thing is, there's a ton moose poop all over this trail. Haven't seen any bear poop yet. 
It's just moose. I think the DNR should go and put saddles on these moose. And yeah, so they can give us rides up these hills, which would be amazing. It'd be interesting though. But no moose seen sights yet, but plenty of poop. Well, there you have it, folks. High salvation of the Spear Hiking Trail. 1,829 feet. And what a hell of a view. Nothing but woods. Yeehaw. I think this is the only view overlook we get. Not quite sure, but at least there's finally a little bit of a breeze. Got a little rock I could sit on, take a load off. The bench would be nice. A little quick rest. Down below is Jackson Lake. Probably can't see it through the trees much. There's two swans out on there, but three tenths of three quarters of a mile, I believe, to camp. Of course. Of course, with traditional SHT fashion, you must go uphill to get to camp. That was a good climb. Jackson Creek. Looks like the trail actually goes that way. But we want to go. Right here. Holy balls. Ooh. That was a hike. Awesome. Alright, camp set up. Time for a little walkthrough. Sam is over there with his little hammock. And he's boiling some water, cooking supper. No idea what he's having. Nice brought a sub in. Here he went down to get water to go and filter. Thermosel lifesaver. We'll get a fire going in a little bit. And back to the latrine. This Jackson Creek campsite is pretty nice. Got another spot here, another hammock or two can hang in there. Sort of a flat spot for a tent. But down this way is a latrine. So everybody probably wonders, if you're not digging a hole to go poop, what do you do? Well, here is the latrine. Glorified hole in the ground with a toilet seat. Yep. That's all it is. Nothing fancy. Just have to... Might have somebody walk up on you. Might not. Most of the time you're watching before you get down there. And down in this little spot is my home for the night. Got my backpack hung, my fancy little hook that I got from Apex Giant. Pretty slick deal. Got my rainfly up in porch mode right now. A little rumbling in the distance. Don't know if it's gonna actually rain or not. But here we go. Here's my hammock. The War Bonnet Ridge Runner. That thing is a beaut. Absolutely love it. And that's it for the campsite. We are right next to the woods. So the only thing left to do is filter water and go in here and hang our bear bags for food so Yogi and Boo Boo don't come and get it in the middle of the night. So now we just gotta relax, kick the feet off. Kick the, or kick the shoes off, kick the feet up. Well, that was interesting. We're sitting over by the fire, got it started, we're just gonna filter water. And all of a sudden it started rumbling and a rain shower came through. So, under the tarp we go. Good thing we got in porch mode, we can sit underneath here all night long. 
maybe not. We'll probably go lay in the hammock first. But, oh yeah, hopefully that was just it. It's looking a little bright out to the west. I'm assuming that's west. Not that it'll be hard to fall asleep tonight, but the pitter patter of rain on the rain from tarp. We'll be out in no time flat. Well, all right, folks, it's 9.30. Officially, that is Hiker's Midnight. Usually when most hikers all go to bed, we're all super pooped and exhausted. So, yep, it's time to go to bed. That is interesting. What is that reflecting behind me? Huh. I'll have to check that out. I'm sure it's probably some reflectix rope that I have for my hammock. Strings and ropes. It's pretty cool if you actually see it all lit up. So, well, we'll get into bed and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Yesterday we did 8.5 miles, but I didn't say that yesterday. Um, great night's sleep last night. A little bit of rain this morning, which didn't know we were supposed to get. So right now we're just slowly taking down camp, shaking stuff off that has rain on it, which is basically just a rain fly. Um, just got done making some breakfast. Had some granola with freeze-dried strawberries, which is pretty good. Never had that one before. But slowly taking down, like I said, we're going to hit the road. We're going to check out the other camps along the way. Our destination is the South Carlson Pond. So I guess we'll see what it is. Hopefully it's a good one. And there's two other ones we passed by. We'll also be going by the Hellacious Overlook, which overlooks absolutely nothing. So I know you're super excited, just like I am. So once we get ready and filter some water and get on the trail... We'll hit it. Jackson Creek Camp. It was real. But we have places to go. Yeah, you can go that way. I'm going to go this way. I got the trails like right here. Hopefully it's trails like this today and not overgrown where it's elbow high and you can barely see what the trail even looks like but onward I think we got nine miles today to the next camp it's gonna be that bad maybe we might see some wildlife and not an attacking grouse no moose out there today that'd be a prime location but uh, we're at the end of the little boardwalk, which was a nice walking, a little slippery. Hopefully, get some more of them again. Now we go to rocks. Just like that. Oh boy, hippy skippy. Get a road walk. This looks like this would be a fun road just to come on. Back road driving. 
I believe this would be Jackson Lake Road. Oh my gosh, that breeze feels great. Campsite, I'm guessing it'd be Caribou Pond, 2.1 miles. Magni parking lot, 20.1, holy moly. Arrowhead Trail is one that Harriet brought us up on, 5.1. And the North Carlson Pond is just campsite, it's just before that. Onward we go. There we go. Here's a rock scramble for you. Holy crap. I have no idea how far up it goes. But that's insane. A little blue out that way, whichever direction that is. Another high point way over there through the trees. I've been climbing for a while, but it's been steady. Finally, to the top of the rock scramble. Look what we have here. Hellacious overlook. Wow. It was a hellacious climb to get up here, but I'm guessing these trees at one time were not all here to see across the valley. But we got to mark off that milestone. What are we getting to think? This should be the hellacious overlook, not back there. Pretty sweet view. That is prime real estate for moose, but none are out there today. Here we go. First view of Lake Superior, we're assuming. Which there you can't really tell, but through that tree, you see like Isle, Isle Royale, we're thinking, or some other islands up there by Grand Portage. Oh heck, just like that, we're at a pond. Pretty sweet. Hopefully we don't have to go up there. Odds are we will. More Lake Superior. Oh, 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 what is it? It's time for name that scat. Here you go, this one's for my mom and Aunt Janelle. This is bear poop. There's no fur in it. Notice all the seeds. The bears eat a lot of berries. There's been a lot of berries on this section of the trail. They are going to be afraid of humans. They are not looking for us for a meal, but that looks like it's a couple days old, but there's been at least one here, so let's keep an eye, on, eye out looking for them. Not that there's going to be many here, considering how much moose crap we've seen. 
We haven't seen a moose. I highly doubt we see either. It's just grouse. That's all we've seen so far. Arrowhead Trail Road. Oh, that's where we all came. Otter Lake Road. I think that's where we actually got dropped off, maybe. I don't know. 15.2 miles. But it's our last road crossing for the day. Oh man, that breeze feels good out here. This is the road that Harriet brought us up. So over there we go. One point three miles to our campsite. For the night, 4.7 to the Hazel campsite, but we heard there's only one spot for hammock or a tent, very small. And way at the end, Magni parking lot, 13.6. That's where we will end up, actually not end up tomorrow. We'll go right by that one tomorrow. Yep, we got ways to go. I think it's more 14.7 to get to the Brule River campsites where we want to go. So, onward, get the hammock set up, and it'll be nap time. Hello, just checking in. Probably wondering why I didn't do a lot of filming so far. Pretty much, you don't really see a whole lot. I mean, what you see right now is what we've been always seeing. So it's really, really thick. Yet, all well, these like little orange flowers. No idea what they are. But, the thing is, you can't stop. Once you stop, mosquitoes start swarming you really bad. I don't have any problems with them biting me or anything like that. Sam, I think, puts on mosquito attractant. He's just getting mauled. And a very, very few people we've seen today, they're covered head to toe with long pants and shirts long sleeve shirts and head nets i don't know the bug sprays i got works pretty good i did spray my clothes with permethrin uh, everything so that's probably helping out a lot but yeah we're less than one mile from camp yep here's nice roots so once we get to camp I'm going to give some film of some camp shots and stuff but other than that, I've shown you all the good views, and if there's nothing much to see, I haven't filmed. So if you wanted more, I apologize, but I didn't want to bore you to death either. So onward. Oh, yeah, this is fun. A bouncy boardwalk with sketchy boards. Probably see all the bugs flying by the camera. It's crazy. Carlson Pond. It's all dried up. Beaver Dam broke. South Carlson Pond campsite. Finally. I'm whipped. Ankles are numb. Calves are tight. Done. Time to call it a night. 
cores are all done. Water's filtered. Pack covers over the top backpack. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. It's time for bed. After nine long hard miles today. Hopefully tomorrow will be easier, but we got 15 miles. Plus, we got to go through Judge C. Magnet State Park. We got a terrible descent down into the park. And the famous 190 stairs to get back out. But we're going to see Devil's Kettle Waterfall, which we'll finally get to see some pretty cool waterfalls with rivers and stuff compared to the little streams and a few overlooks that we have had so far. So, with that, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone.